Hello, everyone, and welcome to another very special event here on Stock Charts TV, where today we are sitting down with the legendary Mark Chaikin to discuss the brand new Chaikin Analytics Power Gauge Stock Rating Plugin in ACP, our interactive advanced charting platform. My name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at Stock Charts. And this really is a thrilling day sitting down, not only to discuss the excitement around this plugin and everything that we've brought to ACP with a fantastic addition here in the Power Gauge plugin, but also just sitting down with Mark Chaikin, someone that I have followed for so long, respected as an analyst and a strategist and a technician for so, so, so many years. This is uh, really a pinch me moment here, getting to sit down with Mark and talk about the, uh, the history behind the Power Gauge his history in the industry, so, so, so many things. So without further ado, I want to bring on Mark Chaikin. Mark, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. It is so good to see your face. I am so looking forward to chatting with you today. Grayson, it's good to be with you. Yeah. So, you know, we have a lot to dive into. First and foremost, I just want to thank you and the team for all the uh, the many months of hard work on this plugin. It's uh, It really is an exciting one. You know, for, for us, for the team, this is actually what we're calling our first panel plugin. We've had plugins in ACP before that are really just kind of a suite of indicators, but yours is a, a step in a new direction, taking over sort of part of the screen and bringing new data to the platform, new visualizations. I have been so loving playing around with this plugin. So thank you, first and foremost, to, uh, to you and the team for so much hard work on it. Um, you know, Mark, I, I want to just kind of give people a background on you a little bit. Maybe we could dive into a, a quick rundown on your history. I'm sure that people are, are pretty familiar with your work, um, but your, your background in the industry, your history as, a, as an innovator in this space, as an indicator creator, and then, um, you know, founding Shaking Analytics and all that stuff. Tell us a little bit more about your background. Grayson, most people on stock charts know me for the check and money flow indicator, but what they may not know is that I started out in the investment business as a stockbroker using fundamental research. The firm that I started with had a great research department. Yeah. It was their main office at 14 Wall Street, and I got to know the analysts, and everything went really smoothly. I actually got registered as a stockbroker the day the bear market of 1966 ended. Wow. So for the first two and a half years of my career, every day felt like an uptick. And then a bear market surfaced in right. 1969. And I realized pretty quickly that to protect client assets and, and sanity, you sure. needed something more. And for me, more was technical analysis. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, so I, flash started out, well, I started out doing relative strength research uh, because I found that relative strength uh, how a stock was doing relative to the market and then ranked uh, amongst its peers was a really good way to monitor uh, whether the trades or investments that I was making agreed with what was going on in the marketplace. And then later on, I started building supply demand indicators like shake and money flow. Of course, of course. So for me, although I'm known for shake and money flow, Fundamentals really drive the investment process. The yeah. problem is that fundamental research is hard. Of course. It's time consuming. And you don't have to be a, an MBA to do it, but you do have to put in the work and you have to Absolutely. leave your biases at the door. So in 2011, after two years of research, we rolled out the Chaikin Power Gauge rating and we built Chaikin Analytics around that rating. And the reason was that people were starting to become uh, much more self-directed in terms of their investments after the financial collapse of 08. Uh, but I felt that they didn't have the tools or the time to do that kind of fundamental research that I knew was so important to making right. money if you're managing your retirement plan or if you're just trading the markets. So yeah. the check and power gauge rating is based on years of working with institutional investors, hedge funds, value investors, growth investors. I distilled down basically everything I learned when I was showing them how to use technical analysis in their mm -hmm. investment decisions into a 20 factor rating system. It's 85% fundamental and it's 15% technical. Gotcha where I really 
have added a lot of value in terms of my own picks for my weekly market letter mm -hmm. is in combining this fundamental rating, the Chaikin power gauge rating with Chaikin money flow and relative strength. Now on stock charts, you've got scooter, which is one of my right. favorite indicators. And so what I do is to start with the fundamentals and then look to see if those two technical indicators are confirming what the fundamentals are telling me. When they do, you end up in a stock like Fortinet. Now, mm -hmm. I noticed on your in touch segment, yeah, uh, you cited Fortinet and that aired on July 17th. If you look at what Fortinet has done since July 17th, right. you see this powerful combination of fundamentals and technicals. Fortinet Absolutely. had a very bullish rating. It actually has since December of 2020. And the relative strength and shake and money flow were very strong there in mid-July. And the stock is up, I think, 15% since then. Yeah. So that's a perfect example. You just picked it. it. Happens to be one of my favorite stocks has been since the power gauge rating turned bullish in December. And that's why I've been preaching for my whole career, but particularly since we launched Chaken Analytics, that to make money in the stock market on a consistent basis, you have to combine fundamentals and technicals. Absolutely. I, you know, I've always believed that it's, it's so interesting to have conversations with, with you, conversations with, you know, accomplished analysts like Dave Keller and, even going back, actually, a couple of years ago, I had a funny moment with uh, with Ralph Akampora. We were talking and and both talking about the blending of fundamentals and technicals. I think of you doing that through the power gauge. Uh, you know, it's it's just such an important piece for for so many of us. But the fact that that is so easy through the power gauge, you know, really combining that into one visualization right there for you. You're not having to kind of think about all those different pieces uh, separately and bring them together. I, I just think the power of that is so special. Um, I love what you're saying too about, you know, being able to sort of combine that power gauge rating with the charts. Um, you know, when we think about the, the power of ACP, obviously here at stock charts, we're, we're largely technical. Um, I'm sure that some people are saying, wow, 15% technicals in the power gauge rating, um, you know, that seems low, but the fact that you get to combine it with your own charting indicators and everything right there in the platform seems like a powerful integration. You know, I'd love to, to hear a little bit more on your thoughts of, of just kind of how the power gauge fits in with charting, um, maybe dive a little bit deeper into that and, and what your, your impressions are of the power gauge in ACP and how you can sort of bring charting and that view together into one, uh, one platform. Chase, uh, Grayson, where it becomes really powerful is using the list capability. Yes. And then the, the drawer uh, underneath right. where you can rank stocks in your list based on, let's say, Scooter. Yeah and then start clicking down the list. Now, I know we now have a side-by-side -side mode right. that you may want to talk about, but um, if you can sort the list based on whatever technical indicator you like, yeah, and then see instantaneously what the power gauge is saying. So you'll find a lot of stocks with the scooter rating of 99 right. that have bullish power gauge ratings, but you're going to find some that have neutral power gauge ratings. Now, if the stock is making a new high, for instance, uh, if you're using a list of stocks making new 52-week highs, you won't have any bearish ratings in there because we've got a technical overlay that pushes the rating to neutral minus. But if you can spot all those neutral minus stocks mm -hmm. or the stocks with bearish check and money flow or money flow persistency, right, and then confirm that with the fundamental rating, that, that's where ACP really shines in my view. It's, it's being able to look at more stocks than just a one-off choice. And that, that's where I really think the value of ACP is. It's that screening capability, com, you know, flowing into a list and then giving you sure. the ability to sort and see the power gauge fundamental rating. Sure. So, I mean, it's it's so great that you're talking about that. And, and lists to us are incredibly important here at Stock Charts for, for really, you know, all through the process, whether you're building up watch lists, whether you're tracking your portfolios, sort of through the entire investment process, lists can be incredibly important. I'd love to, to get your thoughts on how the power gauge can sort of help people throughout the entire process from, you know, discovery, finding new stocks to actually buying and, and monitoring active positions, maybe even into to selling. Can the power gauge really kind of help people through that whole process as the ratings are, are changing over time? 
Very definitely. And that's really um, what it was designed to do. So uh, let's take a simplistic approach. You own a portfolio of stocks or you're monitoring stocks and some of them are due to report earnings this week. Sure. If the power gauge is bearish, the probability of a negative earnings surprise is twice as large as if the wow. power gauge is bullish. So this week we had a couple of examples of that. Clorox had a bearish power gauge rating. Mm -hmm. Stock was actually at the lower portion of the price range for the last year, but a negative earnings surprise pushed the stock down 8% and it was wow. a gap open. Yeah. So if you can monitor stocks, Fiverr reported on Thursday this week mm -hmm. and Fiverr's had a bearish power gauge rating, disappointing guidance in the earnings report. Right. The company is talking about how people are going back to work. They're traveling, they're out and about, and they're not using the Fiverr app to right. get work. You know, right. So uh, particularly important in that regard, knowing which stocks have negative shake and money flow below that zero line, heading yeah. into earnings, really important. So. Um, that's the sort of portfolio management aspect, trying to sure. find stocks. If I were doing it just on stock charts, I would use Scooter on a list of stocks that yep. have certain criteria that I like, like the um, NASDAQ 100. Sure. Look for stocks with a high Scooter rank that have bullish check and power gauge ratings. Those are the okay. ones that are going to give you the biggest bang for the buck. Stocks gotcha. like NVIDIA, AMD, yep. Oracle. Microsoft, Alphabet, sure. Google has been our favorite fang stock for the last year. Uh, Facebook with a bullish rating. So if you combine that bullish rating with strong scooter ratings, now you've got the best of both worlds. Yeah. Relative strength and fundamentals in gear. When that happens, I say that the market agrees with the model because I always start with the model, with the power gauge rating. Right. And when the market agrees with the model, you get price acceleration. You've got it lined up. Wow. I like that. You know, and I, I love that you touched on, by the way, that, um, that additional sidebar panel that we actually just released in ACP, which now has made it even easier to go through those lists, have the power gauge pulled up right there and just kind of bang, bang, bang through the list. Uh, even sorting things like you're saying in the, in the drawer, sorting by scooter or any other metric that you want to see. Um, I have gotten a ton of value out of that uh, from the plugin, it's been so fun to, to, to use that in my own approach to the market. So, um, you know, I, I love seeing that. Speaking of, of additional value that, that people can get out of it, um, you know, in the, in the time that we have left, I'd love to touch on sort of some of the other resources that are out there. One of the things that I'm so excited about with your plugin is this new show that we also have on Stocktrust TV with Pete Carmesino, the halftime show every week, where he's really, you know, using ACP, using the power gauge demonstrating that in his approach to the markets every Monday on our channel. Um, you know, I think of that as a, as a resource for plugin users. And then also everything that's up at Chaken Analytics on the, uh, the, the rest of your platform, all the additional resources that you guys have there. Um, you know, maybe touch on the, the power of sort of those additional resources. You guys do so much excellent content through Chaken Analytics. Maybe we could give viewers uh, you know, kind of a rundown of, of what they can find in those additional resources at Chicken Analytics. Well, we've got transparency as top of mind. So we've always disclosed the factors in the model. We don't disclose the weightings because they're proprietary. Sure. But people can see sort of what drives the investment process because the factors in the model are based on what smart, successful institutional investors do and sure. look at every day. So uh, there's a, a step right there. Go to the, um, you know, the resource page on Chaken Analytics, see what the factors are and develop an understanding of what fundamental factors drive successful investors. Earnings sure. surprise, earnings estimate revisions by Wall Street analysts. These are the things that drive stock prices in both the short and the long term. Uh, the, the big fundamentals, the value metrics don't change that much. Price to book, price to sales, free cash flow, and so forth. Sure. But the, the dynamic factors, what we call the experts, really do change a lot. And you can get a good feel from the resource page on the website yeah. at shakenanalytics.com about 
what smart money looks at every day. That makes a ton of sense. And, um, you know, I, I think that really is such a huge boost for, um, you know, our users that are installing this plugin, having those additional resources through, through you, through Pete, through everything that you guys offer at Chicken Analytics, I think is just a, a fantastic boost. So um, we, like I said, are just so thrilled with this plugin. You know, we all feel that this is really the start of something special, and I'm sure a relationship that's only going to continue to grow. So, um, you know, I, I want to thank you again, Mark, for, for sitting down with us today, for walking through this, sharing some of the history of, of your work, how you've arrived at this point, everything that has gone into Chicken Analytics, and especially the power gauge rating, we are just so thrilled to have it on stock charts. Um, you know, if, if uh, viewers want to sort of follow your work, is, is Chicken Analytics still the, the best place to do it? Are there any, uh, anything else that you want to leave for the, uh, the viewers with today? No, we've got, um, you know, a very robust website that uh, really tells people what's going on. I write a weekly market letter. That's part of our subscription service. Yes. But I think if people are using ACP and they're bringing the power gauge into the investment decision making process or the trading process uh, yeah. that their uh, bottom line is going to be much better at the end of the year. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, and I do want to remind everyone again, you know, Pete Carmesino doing this weekly show on the channel every Monday. Uh, that show is called Halftime brought to you by Chicken Analytics, of course, uh, and a, a great resource to kind of have this ongoing view into how the power gauge can really fit into your investment approach. So Definitely look for that on Stock Charts TV every Monday from Pete Carmesino. Mark, I want to thank you again for sitting down with us. It has been a, uh, a joy to sit down with you. So fun to chat today. Uh, I'm sure not the last thing that we're going to do with you. And, and by the way, you know, something else I actually wanted to direct everyone to. You recently sat down with Dave Keller for a fantastic interview on our Behind the Charts show. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, actually, we'll put a link in the description below to that episode of Behind the Charts. Um, but Mark, again, thank you for all the, the content that you have been contributing, everything that you've been doing, and uh, for helping us bring this to ACP. Such a fantastic addition. Grayson, it's been a long time in the planning stage. Very it thrilled that it's finally come to market. It has. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. I know we're going to have uh, um, you know, more demos and everything from Mark, so uh, tune in for all of that. But until then, chart on, my friends. Hello, I'm Mark Chaikin, founder of Chaikin Analytics. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Power Gauge plugin for the ACP charting platform. Many of you know me as the creator of the Chaikin Money Flow Indicator, and I've always used technical analysis for over 45 years, but always in conjunction with fundamentals. The problem is that fundamental analysis is time consuming, it's hard. And that's why over 10 years ago, I created the Chaikin Power Gauge Rating so that traders and investors like yourself could know the fundamental outlook for over 4,000 stocks with the click of a button. Let's start out by looking at my default chart layout on the ACP platform. We're looking at a one-year chart of advanced micro devices with two moving averages on the top of the chart, and just three technical indicators, check and money flow, an eight period CCI that I use for trading entries, and a very powerful technical strength indicator called scooter on stock charts. What we see is a very strong stock that's broken out to new highs, check and money flow has been in the green since late May. But this is only part of the picture. If you click on this rainbow icon here, you bring up the Chaikin Power Gauge plugin, a 20 factor model broken up into four components financials, earnings, technicals, and expert opinions, and then a plain English summary of what the Power Gauge rating is all about. In this case, the power gauge rating for AMD is bullish because the earnings and the technical components are very bullish and the experts, short sellers, insiders, Wall Street analysts are also bullish. There's a brief explanation of what the power gauge rating does. 
what it really does is give you an accurate, time-tested, fundamental reading on any stock that you're trading or investing. We can type in another symbol for a semiconductor stock that's been nudging up against its old highs, NVIDIA. And the power gauge rating, as you see on the right, is very bullish. One of my favorite stocks right now is Fortnet, a cybersecurity stock, which has had a very bullish rating for over seven months. On this chart, we see the check and money flow has been extremely strong, dipping into the red for only about two weeks in all of 2021. But to get the full benefit out of the power gauge plugin, we're gonna to go to the list mode. Using chart lists, I'm looking at my watch list, which has about 25 symbols in it. And I can toggle through that list to see what the power gauge rating is saying. So the power gauge rating on Alphabet, very bullish, been one of our favorite FANG stocks. On the other hand, Amazon has a neutral rating and the stock has been down while Google has been making new highs. What happens when a stock has a bearish rating like Beyond Meat? Typically you're making new lows or trading down or a stock like Clorox, which recently reported a negative earnings surprise. Clorox has had a bearish shaken power gauge rating for over a year and the stock continues to make new lows. On the other hand, the stock like EPAM Systems has had a bullish power gauge rating for over a year with very, very strong check and money flow. So here's how I use this combination of fundamentals and technicals. When I have a stock with a very bullish rating where the scooter strength indicator is above 90, and shake and money flow is in the green consistently. I'm looking for short-term entry points. That's why I use this eight period CCI. I'm looking for a short-term pullback in an uptrend in a stock that has bullish fundamentals. I can continue on through the list. Here's Etsy with a very bearish rating, just reacted negatively to their latest earnings report. Facebook with a very bullish rating is attacking its old highs. And one of my favorite stocks to hate, Fiverr, which did extremely well during the pandemic lockdown, enabling people to sell their services for as little as $5, is now hurting because people are out and about not working at home as much. And we've just had a very, very bearish reaction to their latest earnings report. Stocks with a bearish rating will tend to surprise to the downside, whereas stocks with a bullish rating, like NVIDIA, EPAM, are likely to surprise to the upside. You can also use the power gauge rating to look at some of the market movers on the ACP platform. So let's look at the top gainers today. We can loop through the top gainers and see what the power gauge rating is. Here we see DXC with a bullish power gauge rating. Global payments, neutral rating. Very effective, efficient way to loop through any list of stocks and look at the biggest decliners. Tesla with a very bearish power gauge rating. And also look at the cloud, the ticker cloud. I find this to be a really powerful tool. You can click on any symbol, see the chart in the default mode and the power gauge rate. Here's LAM Research, semiconductor stock. And the interesting thing here is that not all semiconductor stocks are created equal. We saw that Advanced Micro had bullish Power gauge rating, as did NVIDIA, LAM Research does not. Then we want to look at AMAC, very similar company to LAM Research. 
AMAT has a bullish power gauge rating. This is how I use the power gauge rating. If I want to distinguish between AMAT and LAM research, basically very similar semiconductor equipment manufacturers, I'm going to always go with the stock with the bullish power gauge rating. And I'm going to avoid the stocks with bearish power gauge ratings. We'll be making future videos to answer the questions that come up as people like yourself subscribe to the Power Gauge plugin. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this and good luck with your trading. Hey, Grayson Rhodes here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.